Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nyasa Voice Box, where we embark on an in depth analysis of a development that has sparked intrigue and concern the departure of 221 Milan citizens to Israel. The government's official stance is clear. These individuals are headed to Israel to engage in agricultural work, specifically on farms. However, as Nyasa Voice Box, we cannot overlook the undercurrent of skepticism that has emerged with opposition figures and activists suggesting that this endeavor might involve more than just farming, potentially entangling young Malawians in Israel's complex geopolitical landscape, particularly its ongoing conflict with the rebels Hamas. The narrative becomes even more intriguing when we consider the scale of this initiative. According to Moses Kunkuyu, government spokesperson, the Malayan government has an ambitious plan to send a total of 5,000 young people to Israel. While the prospect of such an opportunity is undoubtedly appealing, our aim is to scrutinize whether this venture will indeed yield tangible economic benefits for Malawi, or if there are underlying intricacies that demand close examination. Now, let's dive deep into the financial aspect. We have, as Nyasa Voice Box, played an audio that purports these Malawian workers will receive a monthly stipend of 1500 US dollars. On the surface, this may seem promising, However, the financial landscape becomes more complex when we factor in the issue of taxes. In Israel, tax rates are progressive, ranging from 10% to a substantial 47%, depending on the income levels of the individual in question. This prompts us to question whether the income earned by Milan workers would be tax-free or subject to significant deductions. Moreover, the cost of living in Israel is not to be underestimated. Rent, utilities, groceries, transport and communication or contribute to the financial equation. Rent alone spans from 800 US dollars to 1500. And when you consider the other elements, the economic intricacies become apparent. Therefore, the overarching question is, will this program genuinely profitable for a young Malawian? It is imperative to consider not only the potential income, but also the deductions for taxes and the everyday cost of living in a foreign country. Are these young Malawians adequately prepared to navigate the complexities of an unfamiliar economic landscape. As Nyasa Voice Box, we are committed to monitoring the situation closely, seeking answers to these critical questions and providing you comprehensive updates as we navigate through the layers of this controversial venture. Is this a transformative opportunity for Milan youth or are there hidden challenges that could compromise their economic well-being? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unravel the newest dimensions of this unfolding narrative. Thank you for joining us on Yosef Voice Box, where we strive to deliver thorough and insightful analysis of issues that are shaping our country. Thank you.